Look at this breakfast spread in the morning. Porridge, fried egg, cheese, coffee, sausage, more sausages, more cheese, bread. This is not a buffet. This is just for us. <laughs> we better get eating. Three, two, one. Ah, here's our chef for, for breakfast. Hello. Hello. <laughs> bye, bye, bye. Thank you. He is the best. <laughs> so nice. I like when somebody is making me breakfast. Hey, I've been known to make a breakfast or two in my time. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Welcome back to our Guinness World Record attempt to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by motorcycle. We're here in... Where are we? <laughs> Wait a minute, wait a minute, I don't know where we are, let me just check on the map. We're here in the city of Karada in Azerbaijan. We just had a beautiful breakfast staying in this um, little bit of a strange hotel in the middle of an industrial area. <laughs> but what turned out to be really, really nice. This hotel was normally built at a time where this area here boomed. So a lot of workers were actually staying in this hotel. But it was really cool because we met as well some workers in the morning and yesterday night and <laughs> I felt like being part of it. At the moment they said they only have six permanent workers living there and they have like a lot of rooms there mostly the workers are working on like the oil and gas fields I think one of the workers told us that he was working for BP actually apparently they have uh, a shipyard where they are doing repairs maintenance and building big container ships and oil tankers this is the big shipyard here cool and the guy told us yesterday that they pull the ships out of the water in order to work on them which is absolutely crazy so anyway we have our first proper day's ride here in Azerbaijan so let me show you where we're heading today so we are here and today we're going to be joining up with the M4 road before turning off to a smaller road to reach the town of Kabala near the north border to Georgia Yes, we're heading up to the north of Azerbaijan to go to the mountains for a nice camping experience. Although the weather doesn't really look that good to be honest, so we'll have to see how it is when we get there. Otherwise, we'll probably take a room. The area we have chosen to stay tonight is apparently a really beautiful area. There are some mountains, there is nature, so I can't wait to see this part of Azerbaijan. Google Maps says it will take us four hours and it's already 10.30, so better hit the road, let's go. First fuel up in Azerbaijan. What's the price gonna be? Look how big it is. Yeah. Oh, I think somebody is helping us. Are we back to just sitting on the bike and chilling? Yeah, it looks like it. Here? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, okay. 92, yes, thank you. Cool. Perfect. Full, uh, full, full yes. thank you. One manat per litre. One, one manat. Oh, it's good. Good price, yeah. Whoa. <laughs> That's like 50 pence. Yeah, yeah. Do you remember? Thank you. Uh, Saul. Sok Saul. <laughs> so we're just coming inland now and leaving the Caspian Sea. Oh, look at this car with all these onions on the, <laughs> <laughs> onions on the roof. <laughs> and I thought I'd share some facts about the Caspian Sea because it's actually super interesting. It's like a London taxi. <laughs> Hold on a minute. That is literally a London taxi, but like a white one. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> no way. Does that mean that Azerbaijan has London taxis? as their taxis as well. So there's always this big debate as to whether the Caspian Sea is a sea or a lake. And after looking it up, it kind of seems like it's a bit of both. Or perhaps you could say that it's turning from one to the other. Because originally the Caspian Sea was part of the Tethys Sea and was connected to the oceans. The Caspian Sea and the Black Sea and the Mediterranean all connected together. But that was cut off, I can't remember exactly when, I think around 30 million years ago. Basically making the Caspian Sea the largest inland body of water in the world. It's actually the second deepest inland body of water behind Lake Baikal. But it is absolutely massive. It contains more than 40% of all the lake water in the world and it's nearly five times bigger than Lake Superior. I think this camera's broken, it's just flashing like crazy. Oh! Did I catch it? No, I don't think so. 
It's not here? Because I was like trying to catch it. It's a bit too dangerous to go back and try and find it. This road is just really, really crazy busy and fast. So we're going to continue without the door. Yeah, I mean, it's like, it's really dangerous. I don't like it. Anyway, this front camera is like really on the end of its life because it keeps turning off all the time. So I don't know, I think we might need to replace the front camera with another one. Anyway, there are some things about the Caspian Sea that really make it seem like more like a lake now than a sea. So its main inflow is the River Volga, which is fresh water, and that is 80% of the Caspian Sea's inflow. And actually in the northern part of the sea, it is mostly fresh water. And even in the south, it is still only a third of the salinity of the ocean and actually the level of the lake is not at sea level it's actually 27 meters below sea level since it's been cut off it has been slowly getting lower and lower and lower they predict that the sea level is going to drop in this century by a further 10 to 20 meters so you could say really that the Caspian Sea was a sea but is slowly becoming a lake Really interesting. There you go. Mystery solved. <laughs> <laughs> We found the perfect lunch break stop. So Bumblebee is just parked up there, safe and sound. And then we are sitting just there. And look how nice this park here is. The perfect bench just for us. Oh, we have such a nice lunch today because <laughs> we actually saved up a lot of leftovers from the hotel last night. So this was part of our dinner yesterday and look how much is left like the whole tupper is full of buckwheat tastes absolutely amazing it's super healthy i love it cucumber and tomatoes amazing and now here it goes more and more crazy this is our egg some leftover sausage some cheese <laughs> and more cheese can you believe it like that looks amazing hey A big waggy tail, hey? It's a big waggy tail. Oh, so <laughs> yep, I know. If only we could take home all the puppies that we see, hey? Started a little bit to rain. Just a tiny bit. I really hope that will change. Got a few different fruits and veg yeah, here. Yeah. <laughs> there was one guy who was like passing like a uh, three grapes to a driver <laughs> as a taster. What is this thing here? All of these like I think colorful it's like things. Dried fruit. Ah, like a sort of. You remember in, mm, uh, in Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan? So what do they call this? Pastilla. Pastilla. It's a uh, fruit jam, dried. Wow. It's very good. Oh, look at this. It's a little bit steep here. Okay. Look, there's buffalo. Whoa. Hello, guys. I haven't seen buffalo in ages. I can't even remember the last time we saw a buffalo. And then suddenly in Azerbaijan, it's like, oh, they've got buffalo here. Yeah, crazy, hey? So the rain is just starting to get heavier. And uh, it's a pretty bad day to lose the GoPro door. <laughs> Basically nothing to protect it now. So we're going to have to get creative with some tape. I think I have to take off the media mod as well for now. Yeah.
horrible. It doesn't stop raining and the whole way is pretty much road works. So it's super muddy, it's super slippery. It's just a really, really bad ride. <laughs> I checked yesterday already and I know that in the town we're going to, there's pretty much one accommodation we can afford. We haven't booked anything yet, but I think we're gonna scrap the idea of camping because it's just too wet. Once we reach the town, we will check out if we can book the room. Dry out and get comfy. Look at the condition of Bumblebee. No! No, look at Bumblebee. Oh. Everything is so messed up! Oh, I hate this road. So we've just stopped here in this beautiful forest area. Look at this. Chai? Chai? Okay. Da, da. Spasiba. What is there? Dukan, fatira. Dukan. Fati. Zeleni, miaso, sir. Oh. It is. Zeleni. Zeleni. Green. 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 Herbs. Like herbs, oh, okay. 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 Like this kind of herbs. Yes, this kind of herbs. Uh, Onion, coriander, uh, Cool. Okay. Uh, we're coming from uh, England and Germany. And you, where you come from? I am Azerbaijani. I am local. Okay, you're local. Which city you live in? Baku. Oh, nice. Beautiful city. Not a bad place to stop for a break. This magical here. The forest is beautiful. And it has really like this festival vibe here. We started the day and it was like the desert. Yeah. And now, 100 miles later, look at this place. It's so cool. We're finally out of the desert. <laughs> <laughs> The sugar? Definitely. Yeah. Eat the sugar? Maybe two. Okay, two. It's not a good combination between the road in construction and the rain. I'm covered in mud, Bumblebee's covered in mud. It's just not good riding conditions today. So nice to have a little sit down, have a hot drink, and recuperate. Cheers. <laughs> Gabala, Gabala. Gabala, yes. Gabala, Gabala, very, very good. Very good. Good, yes. The family just next to us, they just gifted us a whole plate full of these. Mm. Let me try. Mm -hmm. Very good, very good. Very good, very, very good. good. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Mm. So good. So good. We ordered some extra ones because they're so good. No, we will take home. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much for those. See you guys. Bye bye. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> cheese, 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 cheese. Hey. Amazing. Name, name. Name, love you. Love you. Love you. Uh, Oliver. Married. 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 Yes. <laughs> Your name? Okay, but name is Seville. 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 Nice Seville. to meet you. <laughs> Very nice, Seville. Ribiata, baby. No? Baby. No, no, no. 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 After. 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 No, no space. <laughs> no space. Baby, yes, no. Baby, no. Clap. Bravo. Very good. North Africa, <laughs> Senegal, Brazil, <laughs> Brazil, <laughs> Mongolia, Hansen, Kazakhstan, Hamza, Kabala, 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 yes, <laughs> yeah, Kabala, <laughs> very good. Well <laughs> done. <laughs> Azari, yes, <laughs> yes. Very, very good. Azari, Kabala, Kabala, good, very good. Soxaol, Soxaol, bye bye. <laughs> Okie dokie, Atishok here. That was a nice stop. People here in Azerbaijan are so friendly. Wow. Check out this area here. 
Look at all this beautiful lighting. Nice. I can see even some tents here. Look. <laughs> Our people camping here. That's awesome. It's just so nice to be in a forest. Yeah. Yeah. We haven't been in a forest in ages. Yeah. Really, really nice vibe for sure. Yeah. This whole area has a really cute feel to it with all these little roadside restaurants where they're just cooking on the open fire. Yes. Oh, it's just beautiful here. Beautiful. So we had time as well to check the accommodation and luckily it was still available. So we just booked it and we have actually just 22 minutes left and this accommodation was pretty much the cheapest place I could find. It's 19 pounds. Which is still quite expensive but the town Kabbalah is, uh, is a very touristic town for people coming out from Baku. So it's good that we found a place that was at least affordable for us. Yeah, I mean I saw places like for like 300 pounds, you know. <laughs> Come on Carol, what are Come you doing? On. So yeah, 20 minutes to go. Let's do it! And hopefully with no more rain! Fingers crossed! Hey guys, Editing Ollie here. Whilst we try to stay dry on a wet afternoon in Azerbaijan, I wanted to tell you guys about this video sponsor, On Vacation Doctor, and their super handy app for people traveling the world like us. The On Vacation Doctor app connects you to top English speaking doctors in any country in the entire world. Just put in your location, and this app provides you with the name, location, and phone number of the closest English speaking doctor to you. It also provides local ambulance, fire, and police numbers as well as the local US Embassy address and phone number. This app is totally free for the first six months so why not give it a try on your next travel. Download the app for free today by clicking the link in the description below. Now back to the video. So we're arriving in Kabbalah and it's raining yeah it's raining really bad but i guess it means that we made the right decision to book the room it'd be a shame if we booked the room and then suddenly like the sun came out and it was beautiful and nice that's true but no this definitely reaffirms why we're taking a room because it is terribly wet today anyway it'll be better tomorrow yes <laughs> but it's so funny here you can see on the right and left the walls here in Azerbaijan, they really like to build nice walls. Yeah, they've got a thing about walls. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> like, it's not just like a cheap, just a cheap concrete wall or something. I really like even the uh, street lights here with the black and the gold. Yeah, this is a nice touch, isn't it? Charming. Whoa, look at the mountains behind. Wow. Totally covered in clouds. Totally covered. We can't see anything. No. It's quite nice though. Apparently, the place we're staying is just in here. Oh! I think this is it. Is it number two? Number two. Oh, cool! <laughs> Met with a giant wall. A nice wall as well. Look at the entrance to this place. It's like... It's grand! Okay, awesome. Thank you. What's your What's your name? Your Bahman, name? Bachman. 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 Oliver. Oliver. Oh, good. Oliver. <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> Hello, kitty. Good evening, guys. We made it. Happy to live. Yes, and check out the awesome place we're staying tonight. Look at the size of this room, guys. It's absolutely massive. This is like a whole chalet just for us. So we've got our workstation area here, charging station over here. And that's not all, because through here, we've got a separate bedroom. This is living in luxury. Yeah, it was a really nice surprise, actually, to open the door and to see something like this here, you know, for the night. It's amazing. Better than the tent in the rain. <laughs> it was a really short but hectic day today a lot of rain a lot of mud so i'm really glad that we reached somewhere safe and cozy and just have a nice rest here and we've got our awesome i don't remember the name of what they're called but these like pancakey things with herbs and meat insides they're pretty good 
And that's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comment below, and we will see you next time. Check out how the guys from the custom office secured our drone. So they did like a little metal string around here that you can't open it. And also they put a sticker on here. Yeah, to make sure that we are not naughty and flying it without any uh, permission. Wow, it is absolutely crazy raining right now. Oh, oh my God, it's horrible. And we had our stuff on the line out here drying. Cold. Cold, hey? Yeah. We are really in the mountains now and the weather is terrible. I hope it gets better by tomorrow.